Hey guys, ADHD here, and today's video is going to build the awesome Skull Survival House I showed you guys a couple days ago. We're going to get started on this right now. As always, guys, you guys know the drill. If you actually build this, you can feel free to send me a picture of it on Twitter or Instagram. I would love to check it out. But anyway, let's go and get started on this. Okay, and always, guys, you guys can feel free to pause or rewind at any point in the video if you feel like I'm going too fast or maybe you need to catch up. You can always do that. Okay, so for this build, you're primarily going to need just block of quartz and obsidian. That's pretty much all you're going to need. We're going to need some lava and some other little minor stuff later. But for the most part, just these two. Two blocks and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and get started okay guys so as always feel free to ignore the markings on the floor these are just for me to make sure I'm accurate as we're going along with the build um, but just ignore them okay so let's go and get started with that so we're gonna get the block of quartz out real quick and you're gonna be doing two block of quartz going to the right so one two just like this so you should have this then you're gonna go diagonal one block and from there you're gonna add another six so one two three four five six okay then from here you're gonna go diagonal up one and then add one to that, just like this. So it should be two, then diagonal, then seven, just like this, a total of seven right here, then another two right here. So make sure you have that right now, you guys can pause it and make sure it's just like this, because if you have this right, the rest of the build will be a breeze, this is where we're gonna be building the rest of the house off of. Okay, so now what you wanna do is go to the left side or the right side, it doesn't really matter for that, you know, for that fact. Um, what you wanna do is go on the side and add four to the back, just like this. So one, two, three, four, from that side right here. And do the same thing on this side. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, should look just like this right now. And then what we're gonna do is come back here to this one. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up a total of five blocks from the back, okay? So on this back block, go one, two, three, four, five. And do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And then what we're gonna do is basically just mimic what we have right below us. So just go ahead and add, you know, I'll go ahead and count them out for you guys too, but you guys are basically just gonna mimic what's right below us, okay? So right here, on this one, you're gonna bring it out a total of four blocks. One, two, three, four. And then you're gonna go to the right one. Then you're gonna go diagonal. Then you're gonna add six to that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're gonna go diagonal. And then add one to the right, going the same, uh, same just exactly below you guys. Um, just go to the right one and then take this back to the back, okay? Just like that. Okay, and once you have that done, we're gonna go and add the teeth real quick. So for the teeth, it's actually super easy as well. And what you're gonna do for this, come to the left side real quick, and you're basically gonna be going at a spacing of one all the way around this. So from the back, you're gonna go one space, then a block of quartz, then a space, then a block of quartz, then a space, then a block of quartz, then a space, block of quartz, and do that all the way around. And again, right here's a space, then right here, and do that all the way to the other side, okay? Then come back over to the left side and we're gonna do the bottom row. And the bottom row is pretty much the exact same thing, but it's a little bit different, okay? So it's gonna be a space, then one, a space, then one, a space, and then on this one, oh, I'm sorry about that, guys. This one right here is gonna be a space, then one, a space, then one right here. But this one right here is gonna be too high, okay? So this this one particular blo uh, you know block on this side and that side are gonna be too high, okay? Then a space, then one, a space, then one, a space, then one, a space, then one, a space, and then two, okay? and then one just like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and back up so you guys can take a look at this to make sure yours is the same exact way. It should be for the most part, okay? Just like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and just take this all the way back real quick. So what you're gonna do for this is you're gonna go ahead and add a total of, let me make sure I can make sure I'm adding my notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, perfect. So right here in the back, you're gonna go ahead and take this all the way to the back, a total of eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then what you're gonna do is just add them up to the exact same height. Just go ahead and stack them on top of each other to get the exact same height as the mouth we have right here, okay? And that's really just the easiest way. So just go ahead and take it all the way up to you get to the same height. Okay, and do the same thing on this side. You can drink a swiftness potion if you'd like to. I'm not going to right now just because I don't want the chemicals to be on the screen. Okay, but if, if, you are, if you're building it, I recommend it. Okay and almost and boom okay so once you've done that what you're gonna do is on this little right here the spacing is for the uh the first tooth go ahead and take this and bring this all the way to the other side just like this okay and then you're gonna get your obsidian out and you're gonna go ahead and fill in this whole area right here with the obsidian okay so just like this just fill it in really quickly And you can use black wool or charcoal, which some people recommended. But I just use obsidian just because it doesn't, it's not flammable and it's just a little bit easier to use. But you can use that if you'd like. Okay, and then on the top, you're gonna just basically mimic what you just did right there. You could even add the line if you want to. It's not gonna really matter in the, in the long run. Okay, so just like that. 
and then you're going to fill in this whole area right here with the obsidian as well. Okay. I mean, you don't have to do this with this obsidian, this uh, block of quartz row right here. This is mainly just for me to make sure, you know, it's on its point. But you can just, I'm going to remove it, but actually I'm going to leave it there just because I already did it. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. Okay, and then in this back area where we do those two obsidian lines, uh, we're going to go ahead and just add another row of, or basically just a stack obsidian right here so the mouth is like, you know, kind of looks like it's endless because of dark coloring. Just like this on top. And then what you're going to do is come find the center tooth real quick, which is, you know, you can see the, the gap in the teeth right here. Go ahead and take this and remove two blocks just like that. So we have the doorway. And go ahead and add an obsidian right there too. Okay, just like this. So it should look like that. Really nice. It's actually super simple, guys. Now we're going to come over to the back real quick. And just go ahead and take on the back. Do one row on the bottom, just like this. And then a row, one row on the top, just like this. Okay, just like this. So that is actually our first part of the head, or of the skull. So we're gonna get started on the second part, which you guys can see over there is the you know the top part of the head, which is probably the easiest part to be honest. Okay, so we're gonna get started on that right now. Let's go. Okay, so for the second part of the head, we're gonna be working on the nose area first. So what you're gonna do for this is find these two center teeth right here, and this is gonna be basically just an opening right here. So on the right and left side of this, we're gonna go ahead and go to the right to the little five blocks. So Again, it's just kind of imagine these three blocks as being invisible because like we're not going to be using those, okay? So go from right here all the way to the right, a total of five blocks. That's one, then two, three, four, five. Okay, so it should be coming one block off of the, uh, you know, the tooth area or the whole like bottom area we just did. Okay, same thing on this side. Again, leave these three right here alone. Then go from the here to the right or to the left, a total of five blocks. That's one, two, three, four, five. Again, coming off one just like this. And then what you're going to do is on both the left and right side, you're going to go ahead and just add, you know, two blocks on the, just like this inside. So it's kind of like cheekbones. Same thing over here. Just like this. Okay, so I'm back up so you guys take a look at it and you guys see what we just did there to make sure you guys are on par or, you know, on the right spot. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure it's just, you know, exactly like mine. Just go and pause it if you need to. Okay, it kind of looks like a mustache right now, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is the next part. And what you're going to do right now is basically this little opening, opening we left here. We're going to make the bridge for the nose. So what you're going to do is on the left and right side, go ahead and bring it to the, uh, to the towards the inside. So like this. So one, two. Over here, same thing. One, two. Just like that. And then right here in this middle block, you just want to have one block above them, just like that. Okay? Again, kind of weird to explain, but you guys kind of see what I did there. And I'll back up again so you guys can make sure you have it just the right way. Okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come back here. And what you're going to do is from this side all the way to this side, you're going to go ahead and just take the block of quartz from both sides, but you're going to make sure you're off by one block. So over here, you're going to make sure you're off a block, just like this, and take this all the way to the other side. And again, leave those open right there. Take this all the other side until you're off one, this over here. And then on top of that, do the exact same thing, just like this. And then what you want to do is come over here to the nose bridge little hole we left here. You're just going to remove those and put obsidian in there. Okay, just like that. Okay, so if you guys have that done, we are actually getting pretty close to finishing up the hardest part of the house, which is the face area. Okay, so you guys can start to see where kind of, how it kind of looks like a skull now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is get started on the actual eye sockets real quick. And the way you're going to do this is it's really simple, actually. So you can see these two little lines we have right here for the cheekbones. You're just going to come back here and do that exact same thing, going up a total of four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And on the left of that, do the same thing. One, two, three, four. And then come over here to the left side, do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. Then over here, one, two, three, four. And again, we're doing this on top of those cheekbones we just made. Okay, and I'll back up again so you guys can take a look. Just like that. And then what you're going to do is in this little nose area, these three blocks right here in the center where the nose is, and the easiest way to see that is where the subsidian block is, you're going to go ahead and do exactly what we did on both sides there, but in these three blocks. So it's one row, then two, three, four. Make sure they're the same height as the other two we just did. So it should look just like this. Okay. Once you've done that, we're going to take a block on top of this and bring it all the way across. Just like this. Okay. And then do that one more time on top of that row. Then the next row, what we're going to do is we're going to go in one block on both sides. So on this side, go in one and bring it all the way till you're one block away from this side. And then do the same thing on the next row. Go in one block until you get to the other side until you're one block away from that side as well. Okay, and that is actually our skull right here. It kind of looks pretty, it looks awesome. I love this house. Okay, so what we're going to do now real quick is go ahead and get out your lava if you have that. Okay, get lava and if you have flint and still, go ahead and get that out as well. 
and we're gonna go ahead and add, make the opening real quick for the, uh, you know, the eye, the, the lava real quick. Okay, so what you want to do for this is you basically just want to make a little bit of like a bucket kind of where the lava is going to get caught. So we're going to be putting the lava right here, just like this, and then right here. So it's going to have to fall down, but if you don't have it made correctly, then it's going to, you know, leak everywhere and make a big mess. So right where the eye socket is, you want to go ahead and do this. You want to go ahead and do a block just like this, a block just like this, and then one below it like this, and then a block like this to cradle it kind of, okay? Kind of looks weird. But that's kind of what you have to make in order for the lava to not fall everywhere. And then you're going to make kind of the same thing up here. So you just going to take a block right here, a block right here, and then go ahead and add right here just like this, these three. Again, it's hard to explain, just see what I did there. And then just go ahead and add your lava in that hole, in that little area right here. And you see how it kind of falls a little bit smoothly. And if you did this without these bars right here, that lava would be like flowing everywhere and <laughs> setting things on fire if you have anything, you know, flammable near it. And it makes it, you know, just it's perfect. It fits perfectly right there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing over here. So again, just make the cradle. It doesn't really matter how how you make the cradle, it just kinda has to, you know, hold the lava really. That's really all you're trying to focus on. Just like this. Same thing up here as we did on the other side. But you want to try and make it as minimal, you know, as, as small as possible. Take up the least amount of space as you can, obviously, because you're going to be living inside this. So you want to have as much room as possible indoors. Okay? And then once you've done that, it should look just like this. It looks pretty awesome. So if you have uh, what's called, um, what is it called? The um, fire flame spread off or fire spread off, these should stay lit. When you light these front blocks right here, they should stay lit just like that. But sometimes they go out. If not, it looks fine without this. But this is just something, a little fact I like to add. You could use nether brick, but then you'll kind of see them and it looks a little bit ugly. So if you can get these to stay lit, then you know, perfect. If not, it's really not necessary. Just a little effect I like to add. Okay, as you can see, mine are staying lit because I think it's because I have fire spread off on, I mean. Um, I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but it is. Okay, so now we're going to get started on actually closing up the back of this head. So let's get started on that. Okay, so for this, what you want to do is basically come to the back right here where we need the little lava area. And you see where this cheekbone extends? You want to bring it in one. So you want to be one block off from the bottom area we did. And then take this all the way back until we get to the exact same spot where the back ends over here. Okay? Then you want to go ahead and do that on the other side over here, exact same way. Just take this all the way until you get to the back ends, one block off of the bottom area until you get to the back. And then you want to go ahead and take both of those all the way up until you get to the exact same height as the first row right here. I'm going to drink a swiftness potion for this one, just to make it a little bit quicker. So you're just going to go back and forth just like this until you get to the top. Okay, and I'm not going to skip ahead just to make sure you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. Normally I would, but just because this one's a little bit weird, I don't want to mess anybody up. So again, you're taking this all the way up until you get to this exact block right here, just like this. And then go over here to the left side and do the exact same thing we just did over there. Take this all the way up. And again, I recommend the swiftness potion if you have it, just because it makes it a little bit, you know, well, swifter. <laughs> so, you know, that's kind of the point. And I always like to drink night vision potion, but we have daylight, so it's all good. Okay. Just like this. And then what you want to do is on these top little areas right here, you basically do the exact same thing, but you're just going to be doing them, you know, kind of following them. So just take this one all the way back to the exact same length. Then take this one all the way back as well. Do the same thing on this side. You're basically just bring everything back. That's all we're really doing. But I just want to make sure you guys can see it so you know, nobody messes up and you know, has like a flat-headed, you know, skeleton. Okay, just like this. And then just go ahead and connect those real quick and then fill in the top real quick. You can do a sunroof up here if you'd like. It's really not necessary though because we're going to end up, it's going to be look a little bit weird if we have, because we're going to be cutting off a little bit of this living or this uh, upstairs area actually because you don't want anything to be setting on fire in your house. So, you know, we're going to be changing some of that so you don't want to even, I don't I recommend not doing the sunroof because otherwise it'll kind of look weird. Okay, so just go ahead and fill it in. I think the original one does have a sunroof. Yeah, it does. Um, but it kind of looks weird from up there because you can see the lava and stuff and just kind of looks odd. Okay, so once you've done that, what you're going to do is come over here to the back real quick. And what you're going to do is just go ahead and fill in this whole top area right here. These two area, these two rows of like, you know, that are just kind of jagged right here where the head ends. Go ahead and fill those in just like this. Then what you want to do is go ahead and add three rows or two rows on top of the row we have down here. Just like this. And then go ahead and add a row on both sides, just like that. And this area really does not matter, to be honest. However, you, you know, whatever floats your boat in the back area, you can fill it in however you'd like. I actually think I'm going to do mine, maybe. Actually, that's good, just like that. Okay. And now that you have it just like this, and go ahead and do the sides, just like the, same, the inside, the same, you know, the inside, or how do you say it? The, the downstairs window, I guess, just add another row to make it, you know, too wide. You don't have to do that again. It's just because I think it would look better like this. 
So it should kind of look like this back here, okay? And then once you have that done, what you want to do is go ahead and get your, um, what are they called? The stained glass out real quick. And that is what page? Oh, there it is. <laughs> you get the stained glass out real quick. And just go ahead and fill these in with the windows. You can use the stained glass panes if you like. I'm just using them these because it's a little bit easier for the sake of the video because they're a lot easier to place. I really hate placing placing the glass panes. They are just well a pain. <laughs> so you know that was a terrible joke. <laughs> so just fill this in real quick. And we are done with the outside actually. Oh, actually, we have, well, this is the inside technically. So we have to do one thing real quick on the inside, and that is basically just go ahead and take this little area right here where the, uh, you know, the line of the mouth kind of hinges, and just take the uh, block of quartz and take this all the way up until you get to the top in order for you to just kind of block out this lava area. So it's just kind of not there and setting yourself on fire. And you could do like a window too if you wanted to, just have like a little window to this little area. Just to kind of make it look, you know, cool, I guess, and has a little, you know, little lighting, adds lighting to the room. So you could do that too if you like, but for the most part, just cover it up like I am, <laughs> and then just go ahead and uh, take this last piece, and boom! So this is our little arrow we have right here, and then what you want to do is basically, in these two, we did a, you know, a three row right here between the windows. Go ahead and take this all the way around, and then just go ahead and you know, cover up this whole area and basically make a floor. So you just want to make this a whole floor, just like this. Okay, so this whole little area, I'm sorry if again you guys can pause or rewind if I'm going a little too fast, sorry about that. Okay, so this whole area right here, just basically, you know, the windows, it really doesn't matter where you make the floor, we have a lot of room on top and on bottom, so if you're a little, if you're one block off or something, don't even worry about it, because again, you know, a livable Minecraft room is like three blocks high, you have like six up here and then like eight up here or something like that, so you have enough room to mess up if you want to. Okay, so just go ahead and add this just like this. And then just make sure you know you have either if you even if you mess up, just make sure your window is in like a you know good spot, just like that one. It doesn't really matter, you know, but just make sure it's you know in a good a decent spot. You know, on mine I have you know to where basically there's one block around you know everywhere on the side of the window, and that's what I think looks good. Okay. And then what you want to do real quick is we're gonna go ahead and remove the flooring on the inside of here. Or actually, what we're gonna do is just build on top of it. Or now yes, yeah, just remove the flooring. <laughs> that's probably better. Just remove the flooring real quick, just like this. Okay, and then once you've removed all that, go ahead and get your block of quartz back out and just go ahead and do the whole flooring and the block of quartz. Just because we kind of want to keep that bone-like theme going throughout the whole house. So you just want to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay. And then right here. Just like this. And then there. And then, depending on you, if you want, you can go ahead and cover this up real quick with the block of quartz as well. Um, it would take up a little bit more room in the living room, so I don't really recommend that. Um, for me, it doesn't really bother me that much. I think it looks kind of nice, actually. So I'm going to leave it like that. And the only block that kind of does bother me is this one right here. So what you're going to do is get some uh, quartz stairs out real quick. And just go ahead and fill this in right here, just like that. Okay? And then it makes it a little easier to get in and out of the room. And then it also, you know, just kind of blocks that one little weird block that's there. And then go ahead and get, you know, a spruce door, whatever door you want. I think spruce looks the best. And add that right there. And that is actually the skull itself. We are going to go ahead and get started right now on the exterior, which is like this little lava area right here and this bridge and the little fire going around it and stuff. All that stuff we're going to add right now. And then we'll do the interior last. Okay, so let's get started on this part, which is actually really easy. It's just kind of time consuming putting the lava in. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the exterior, we're going to go get started on this real quick. And it's actually really simple. It looks a little bit more, you know, difficult than it actually is. So what you want to do is on this center tooth right here, you're going to go ahead and add, you know, a row of three stairs. Just like, not like that. <laughs> just like this. Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> I thought it messed up again. That kind of just gives you, you know, an entrance to the door. That's really it for that. And then these blocks right here, you want to go ahead and remove these three all the way that way. A total of a row of nine of them. Okay, so one... Well, we're already on one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then just go ahead and remove all these blocks as well. Okay, just like this. And then once you've done that, come all the way back over here, and you want to go to the right, a total of four blocks. So one, two, three, four. Same thing on the left side, one, two, three, four. And then what you want to do is go diagonal, a total of nine blocks, guys. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the 10th block, you wanna go ahead and take this down a total of 11 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, same thing over here on this side. We're just gonna do them you know, back and forth just to make sure they meet up with each other and that's how we know we did it right. 
Okay, and then over here, same thing. 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, and then we're gonna go diagonal total of nine blocks again on both sides. So one, two, three. Oops, messed up right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then go ahead and add, just basically add, match these two up now. So just go ahead and remove all these blocks diagonaling to where the diagonal match, they match up from the diagonal point, just like this. Okay. And that is actually pretty much it, really. I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, with obviously now it's just pretty much removing blocks and adding blocks. Uh, so, you know, the design part is actually over. So give yourself a little round of applause real quick. And go ahead and, why are you doing giving yourself a round of applause? Go ahead and get some um, netherrack out real quick. And also get a flint and steel. Um, there you go. Okay, so what you want to do real quick is on this little area we just opened up, go and get your gravel out and go ahead and add this to make our walkway real quick. And that's from the little stair point we made all the way to where we, you know, we started the little circle, just like this. And then on the right and left side of that, go to remove those blocks that add, you know, that lead to the um, the actual skull on both sides. Okay. And then what you do now is go and take that nether rack and take that from that whole area where the blocks you just removed, add the nether rack there. And then take the nether rack around this entire circle we just made. So just take it around the entire circle and all the little spots we just removed, just like this. And this is gonna be how we add our little, you know, flames to this, okay? So just take this all the way around and then go this way. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a little bit like, I don't know. Sometimes I, I know I sound like crazy when I'm talking, but that's because I'm trying to focus on a lot of stuff at one time. At one time. Like, you know, notes and different stuff like that and keep track and make sure I have everything right for you guys. Okay, so that is it right there. So once you've done that, I'm sure you guys know what we need to do next. What you want to do is on everything within this nether rack, this dirt right here, just remove all of the dirt or whatever, you know, you're building it on. Remove all the stuff within this area. So just go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to do it on this side and this side. Just take all of this grass or whatever you have in this little inner area out real quick. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead for that because it'll take a little bit of time, but go ahead and pause and do that real quick. Okay, and once you've done that, you should have this basically, or you know something like this. <laughs> so what you want to do now is you're gonna get your lava out real quick, and this is probably the most like time-consuming part of the build, um, simply just because lava is kind of difficult. And what you want to do is just kind of go on every single block with the lava, just like this. And you want to make sure you get every block, guys, because if you don't get anything, let me show you what happens if you don't get them all. Then you get this, where it's just like this little warpy-looking lava. <laughs> so you have to just kind of make sure you're moving around and get every block you can. And you know, if it looks warpy, that's because there's a spot that you did not put lava. So you have to find that spot and go ahead and put the lava in right there. Okay, and this actually, I mean, it's not gonna take forever. It's not gonna take like hours or anything, but it does take quite a bit amount of time. I'd say like, it'd probably take you like 10 minutes to do this, um, you know, if that. But um, just go ahead and do that real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead in the video. But um, like I said, just make sure you're not missing any blocks, guys, because if it looks warpy, that's because you miss a block somewhere in the lava. And you know, just, you have to just move around so you find it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but you go ahead and pause the video and do all of this with the level, you know, of lava. Unless you want it to look warpy, that's your choice. <laughs> but if you want it to look, you know, smooth, again, make sure you don't miss any blocks and go around the entire thing. And I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead, but go ahead and pause it and do that, guys. Okay, guys, so now we are done with the lava. I'm sure you guys are as tired as I am because that lava sure is annoying, <laughs> but we finished it, hopefully, if you guys did. Um, so let's get started on the next part. So all this, you know, nether rack, all we're gonna do is get our flint and steel real quick. And we're just gonna go around all of this nether rack real quick and just add our flint and steel, you know, or not flint and steel, add the flame to it. So just flame all this flint and steel. Okay, so we're just gonna go all the way around real quickly, real quick. I'm not gonna uh, skip ahead for this part just because it only takes a moment. Okay. And, oops. Yeah, that lava is just, ah, man, I hate the lava. And but it's just, you have to make sure you have, you know, all of the blocks filled with lava. Otherwise, it looks all warpy. And I'm sorry if I sound repetitive with saying that, but every time I do like a lava base build, I always get comments people saying like, oh, my lava looks, you know, weird and stuff. So I have to make sure I, you know, say it a hundred times to make sure everybody gets it. <laughs> okay, so now we are done, guys. We have to do the interior if you guys are planning to turn this in the house. But if you're only interested in the actual structure, you're actually done with the build. Um, you can hit that like button before you go and subscribe. That'd be awesome too. Um, but um, yeah, let's get, if you're actually planning on building a house into this, let's get started on the interior. Okay, so for the interior, guys, it is a little bit small in here, so you're very limited with the space. So the downstairs is pretty much just going to be like a little bit of a, um, like a lobby type area. I'm um, just, you know, a little quick, you know, survival hood. So what you're going to do is on the left wall right here, you're going to go ahead and do two bookshelves, like this, one, two. 
Then you're gonna do three stone stairs, one, two, three. Then you're gonna do two bookshelves, one, two, just like that, okay? Then over here on the right wall, what we're gonna do is our little survival HUD, and you're gonna do from the window to the right, a total, uh, or not total, you're gonna do a crafting table, you're gonna do a furnace, you're going to do a ender chest, you're going to do a anvil, you're going to do two chests, and I forget what the block is. Uh, let me see where is that. Oh, sorry guys, right here where the anvil is, you're gonna do a space, sorry about that. An anvil, then you're gonna do two chests just like that, okay? Then right here, you're gonna have a ladder that goes straight up to the top floor, and we're gonna do the top floor now. Okay, so what you're gonna do up here is when you're in, the, basically if you're looking at the window, you're gonna the left side real quick right here, and you're gonna get your uh, stone brick stairs out real quick, and you're gonna make a little bit of a bed right here. So the way you do this is these three center blocks right here, you're gonna go and do two or three of uh, these stone bricks, then one slab in the middle one, then do one on both sides, then one slab just like this, okay? And then the bed goes right there in the middle. It's kind of like a little bit of a bedding area. Or you can even add some slabs right there. I think it looks better like that, actually. Okay. Then what you're going to do is on the right side, go ahead and add two chests. Just like that. And the left side. Okay. Then what you're going to do is come back here to the back. And you're going to go ahead and just make our little survival hut again like we did downstairs. Just to make sure we have everything we need up here. Okay. So for this, you know, you guys know what you need. You need a chest. You're going to need... Where is this stuff at? There you go. You need a ender chest. Furnace, um, let's just grab a little bit of everything. <laughs> it doesn't really, you know, all you need. Okay, so do two chests, do an ender chest, we'll do a furnace, we'll do uh, we'll do a crafting table too, that's usually something you need. So we're gonna get that crafting table, we're gonna do a anvil, and we'll even do a jukebox, okay? And then we'll put our little brewing stand on top of our furnace, just like that. So we have everything we need up here. Then what we're gonna do is get a little, you know, uh, make a little seating areas like we did uh, downstairs. Okay, so go ahead and get your bookshelves back out. And you're also going to get back out the, what are they called, the stone brick stairs. And this back wall, just go ahead and make a little seating area just like the other one we did. Downstairs, just like that. Let's just make it a little smaller. Okay. So it fits a little bit better. It's like that. A little seat right there. And you can even do like a little mini one right here if you want to. It kind of looks at the window. I'm not going to do that though because I think it makes it a little too congested in here. And then this is our exit right here. And let's get downstairs. And that is actually it, guys. Not too much for the interior. It's really, to be honest, it's more about the exterior than anything, which is usually what a lot of my houses are, as you guys can see. They're all exterior stuff most of the time. Um, but that is actually it, guys, for the build. If you guys can please hit this video with a like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, please subscribe. and build tons of crazy Minecraft houses and all kinds of other crazy stuff on Minecraft. So I definitely recommend you subscribe for that stuff. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And feel free, as always, guys, to send me a picture of it now that you've built it, hopefully. And uh, I would love to check it out. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios. Hey guys, welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for making here on the right side of your screen. This is a recommended video. You can go ahead and click on that, and that's the last video on my other channel where I show you guys the real life version of a mystery box from the Call of Duty Zombies series. Pretty awesome video, so I recommend that. And on the left side of your screen, where it says previous video, I'm going to click on that, and then I'll take the last video on this channel, where I show you guys how to build Clarence's house from the TV show Clarence. Both those videos are awesome, so I definitely recommend them both. If you're on the mobile app, you can get to both those videos by clicking the card button on the top right side of your screen. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Adios.